In 1980, Shenzhen was a small coastal village known for its fishing. Today it houses 11 million people and has been rebranded as the Silicon Valley of China. With booming tech and manufacturing industries, the city demands a more involved and informed urban planning to create a new home for its dwellers. We caught up with a landscape architect who is pushing the concept of placemaking in China, where it isn't just enough to design for aesthetics and functionality, but where space needs to embody the soul of the community. I'm Leslie Montgomery, and this is Design Asia. My name is Michael, Michael Pat. I'm a French landscape architect. I live and work uh, in China for 10 years in Shenzhen. But maybe also I'm a kind of placemaking activist or something like that. I'm trying to develop an alternative way to create city and create place here in China. For me, placemaking, it's uh, the idea that a place is not only a form, uh, it's also the experience and the life that people will have in this place here. It's linked with the history, with the culture, with the communities that live and activate this place. So it's really how we can design the form and the meaning together. It was really difficult to talk about placemaking during the big boom, these 30 years of incredible development where is the point from a poor country to a rich country. Today, uh, we can see that the country and the city of Shenzhen become more mature. We have the society who getting this middle class expectation. Uh, the people are looking for lifestyle, for real experience, real emotion, not only something that we built for them, but something that can really interact with, with them and somewhere define who they are. What does that mean to, to be a citizen of Shenzhen and how it defines uh, the identity and the, the spirit? kind of representation, it's a, a beach in Zhuhai. I think what I wanted to create here is to bring something from the real people life in this new development project. So what I try to create is actually extend the, the notion of park and create a edge between the city and the beach, uh, create a place a little bit wider, where the people can come to dance, where the people, the old people can play uh, mahjong, where um, a lover couple can have a romantic walk, and in some time where the tourists can come and you know feel uh, impressed and all of that. So it, it's really about the balance of all this cursor. We see the city like a plenty of building, plenty of space, all design, sometimes good, sometimes not so good, you know. But what will come back, what will come from this place here, yeah, and what it will look like. And that, I think, it's deeply the future of China, and that is really, really exciting. Yeah.